Welcome back to the bench. Today we have one, two, three faulty docks for laptops. These are all um, type C. This one is for a MacBook. This one will work with a MacBook or a PC. Base one. And they all got various faults. So we're going to take a look at them today. Uh, the first one, everything works on this fine, except for the Ethernet port. So I suspect that there's a, a bad connection on there. So I've written on there, you know, possible dry joint. And these things uh, are not, not hard to get into. They're just clipped together. But as you can see, didn't even need any kind of tool to get in there. Pretty simple. Uh, no screws, and so there's not a single screw in this thing. <sighs> so they come to they come to pieces very simply. Okay, and yeah, I can see magnifiers on. Let's have a look at that port. Yeah, I mean the solder in there, it doesn't look like it's moving, but um, yeah, there's not a lot of solder in there. The back side of that um, pin is actually, or even if you look on it on this side, you can see that they, you can see that, little focus, that the uh, pins aren't, the holes, the vias are not fully filled with solder, so I suspect probably a crack in one of those and that if we just reflow them and add a bit more solder that should solve the problem so let's do that I'll do it from the underside a little bit of flux on there something to apply flux with just want a small amount just to help the reflow This is probably lead-free solder that's already on the board, so I'm going to add some leaded solder. That's it. Okay, yep, yeah, let's get rid of the solar bridges. So we'll just spray that with some okay. Pick up all that flux residue. This one is says it's faulty. HDMI works, but no USB. Now I tested the USB C ports on here, and they work fine. And then when I was looking at it, I noticed this. If you notice 
here that looks fine but this one is bent over so i suspect what's happened is that somebody has tried to force in a uh, a usb device and yeah i can see at the back of there it looks like at least a couple of the pins may be bent up because this is a usb3 port so you have the connections here plus the ones at the back so yeah it looks like somebody screwed the usb port on here so let's see what she looks like on the inside yeah even here part of the plastic is dropped out of there yeah i can see that that is yeah definitely some of the pins Are bent up and they're actually touching the casing so there's not really much we can do with that it really needs a new port getting this old one off won't be too difficult because you can just snip the lugs off there and then just desolder that yeah little bits of plastic are dropping out of this so obviously Somebody has well and truly ubarred this port. So we will be able to get this fixed, but we need a donor. So maybe we have one that's totally dead. We can take the port off that and put it on here to replace it. But we can't do anything now because I don't have a spare port for it. Our final candidate is this one for a MacBook. I already had a part to have a quick look. I mean, it's not hard to tell what's wrong with this. I mean, both USB-C ports are just completely wobbling. So it looks like somebody has just yanked on it one too many times. And yeah, it's just snapped the joints. Yeah, well, that one fits here. Yeah. So it might be the case that we just need to reflow this. Okay. Horrible dual-sided tape. too easy okay. see this will hook it out nope we need something thin and sharp let's try these you can get it under the corner or you can through the hole here yep there she comes okay so you can get it out yep <laughs> and the port just falls right off so yeah Pretty obvious what the failure mode was on this one. Taking a closer look, yeah. Thing is, you've got these little ground or oh, tabs here, and yeah, they've just broken free of their mounting. Doesn't look like they, yeah, you can see this one. There's hardly any solder on that mounting tab. So I suspect the problem was that, yeah, it's just poor manufacturing. So, let's give it a quick clean. The 
broken either side every single one was snapped off okay let's see if we can solder this on and see if we can bring it back to life Let's zoom in a bit. <clears throat> Hopefully, you won't get my head in the shock. Okay, let's try and secure these lugs first. Let's try a bit of flex on there. It doesn't seem to want to go easily. That soldered on there a lot better than it was before. <laughs> turn this on the other side. Okay. Uh, let's do the other look on this side. Okay, so they are well and truly firmly on there. Now I just need to reflow those pins and the job should be a good one. I'm just going to make sure I don't bridge any, which I may have already done. We'll sort that out in a moment. So, plenty more flux. Okay, so that's them soldered and all the bridges gone. I've been trying to clear the bridges on this side between the, that pin and there and the mounting point, and then I just realized that they're actually both connected anyway, so it doesn't matter that they're bridged. So I can't test this one because obviously I don't have a MacBook Pro to test it with. So all I can do is clean the uh, gunk off.
Okay, so that's the flux residue cleaned off. So you can go back into its case once it's dried. Give it a minute to dry. And try and clear off this glue so we can reassemble it, but I can do that off camera. I'm not gonna bore you with glue removal. Assembled. This one just needs to be reassembled. to test the earthenet port on this one if I can and yes this one works perfectly so this one is definitely fixed this one I need to find a new port for it so that I can repair that one and this one should be fixed because it was only the dry joints so we'll see how that one goes so if you like this video then you know give me a thumbs up and uh, if you want to see more content then you can always hit that subscribe button and if you want to get notified of future uploads you can always ring the bell as always thank you for watching and i will catch you next time